And sorry for the messy look and the look quality. I'm using my laptop to give you the information. I've been asked a lot about the retinol ban. Uh, actually, it's not a ban. And here is why. It's been going on for almost a decade. I took some note the, of the chronological events that led to uh, have this uh, reduction of safety limits. But let's start, begin with, it's like it started in 2012 where a safety dossier was submitted to the European Commission about the retinoids in general in cosmetics. Then in 2013, the Norwegian Risk Assessment Committee also submitted some information for the European Commission. All of that led to the European Commission asking the SCCS to do a preliminary, let's say, safety assessment of retinoids in cosmetics. And uh, in 2016, the first opinion was given with the same concentration of 0.3 for uh, the face, hands, and 0.05 for the body. Uh, the next step was uh, the European Commission was uh, de uh, delivered some studies by uh, different parts that says, okay, what about uh, the uh, exposure from uh, supplements and diet plus cosmetics and uh, the European Commission thought that this would could uh, lead to um, a risk or exposure higher than the uh, allowed daily limit of vitamin A. So the uh, European Commission asked the SCCS again to uh, revise that opinion and the uh, SCCS again has uh, tried to do a revision, it kept the same uh, um, uh, same safety limit, but also uh, said a note that it is out of their uh, expertise to assess something related to supplement and something that is not related to cosmetic. So they uh, did that and they said we can't make sure that those uh, safety limits are 100%. So they gave their uh, not final opinion, I would say, and then asked for uh, uh, public comments, which mean that industries different industry can submit uh, information and uh, data regarding the safety of vitamin A. And uh, all of that was done until uh, February of 2022. And then in October of 2022, the final revised opinion was released. And then recently it was mandated into the regulation. And all of this says that the safety is not an issue because it took a decade. So if it's urgent or pose a very high risk or damage to the public, it will be dealt with in months, not uh, almost 10 years. And the second thing, it is not a ban. It's just a reduction of safety limit. And in general, in Europe, there is not a lot of high percentage product that is famous. It's mostly like those percentages been in the market for a while. The, um, the last thing, it is only affect the uh, retinol, retinyl, uh, retinyl palmitate and uh, retinyl acetate. It does not affect retinol. So that's the whole situation.